Five years into his NBA career, Nikola Jokic is a first-team All-NBA center, an MVP candidate, and one of the most entertaining and versatile bigs we have in the game. I wanted to know what signs of that skill set that has blossomed for Nikola Jokic was evident five years ago when he first got to the United States. So I decided to rewind the clock and go back and look at his first summer league in July of 2015 to see what parts of his game were already here and maybe what parts were missing. Let's rewind the clock and go back and take a look. One of the first things that stands out about Jokic at Summer League was his footwork in the post. He was able to be productive as a scorer against stronger and oftentimes quicker defenders just with that crafty footwork that we've gotten so used to, including off-balance shots like this one that just uh, draw fouls and really leave a defender guessing when the shot's going up. Here he uses nice soft touch at the left hand, avoiding the the shot blocker he did get his shot blocked quite a bit um, with some great moves here's a great spin move but you could tell he's still adjusting to the nba pace of play but the footwork was there these moves uh that you see here with him getting his shot blocked they're really great moves just the timing and the nba speed he was still getting used to Perhaps the most recognizable trait for Jokic was his passing, and it was on full display in Summer League. I mean, these plays look like the Jokic we now are familiar with. They were pinpoint passes. Um, you know, they weren't resulting in a lot of points because you have such a hodgepodge of players at Summer League, but you can see the accuracy and the vision here, even right here. A great cut, the, def the offensive player not expecting such a great pass, but it was open. I love this play right here. Really demonstrates Jokic's high basketball IQ and just feel for the game. I mean, wide open dunk, high low pass. Let's rewind that one and take a closer look. Jokic starts this with that drag pick and roll. So he's the screener and he's going to roll. His job here is to roll to the basket, but he que immediately sees the secondary pick and roll happening. So he gets out of there to, to open up space. He's already ahead of the play here. So when the ball reverses, he drags the defense high and he knows that he's vacated that space for the, for the roller. Just... Uh, always seeing ahead of the curve faster than everybody else. And this is one of the most important and unique passes that Jokic can make anytime he's needed. On the move, on the roll, a nice open, wide open dime. The defense didn't even realize the pass was happening until the shot was going up. And quick little turn passes. I mean, this is all the stuff you see from Jokic now. We're seeing it in 2015 before he ever played in the NBA. And then just take a look at this. More than anything, Jokic just showed off his feel for the game. Here he is getting ready to rim run in transition, but rather than clog up the paint, he recognizes an opportunity to seal his man and give a uh, nice clear lane for Ian Clark to the basket. Here you see him notice Joffrey Laverne have his man sealed inside, so he goes up for the three-point shot. Again, he didn't take many, uh, made the ones that he did. This one he threw up early in the shot clock knowing he had a rebounder. And then plays like this are just classic Jokic two-man game. Just reading where he's supposed to go, making quick passes even in tight spaces. This was before he was given the keys to the offense. And then you're going to love this one. An inverted 5-1 pick and roll, just like what he does with Jamal Murray now opening up wide open shots. Perhaps the most underrated of Jokic's skills is his touch from the floater zone, especially in the pick and roll. Here's a couple of examples, and this is just classic Jokic. This will look familiar to Nuggets fans. Jokic taking guys off the dribble, despite not a lot of burst of speed there. Just such a great handle, so crafty, great footwork. And he's able to, to finish with the scoop shot here. This is just the classic Jokic. Nobody would call him quick, 
but he often with just by sh by virtue of his talent and his skill is able to get around other bigs um despite not having the uh, afterburners and here he is drawing a foul you try to pressure him out on the perimeter just so crafty to get around you and, and to draw that contact Jokic has never been a high jumper, but he has been a quick jumper. His reaction speed on his second jump is always really fast. And here he is in the post, getting his shot blocked, but recovering quicker than everyone and going up fast. This is another one of those traits. Jokic, those second and third chance opportunities on his own shots. Jokic wasn't a volume three-point shooter at Summer League, but he did show off that skill set a couple different times. Smooth stroke, especially when the clock was winding down. Another end-of-clock sort of situation and an out-of-bounds play really showed that this was going to be a part of his game. You can also see Jokic's defensive skill set really shine in Summer League. First, his quick hands, just how he's always able to disrupt passing lanes and dribbling lanes. Here he gets three deflections on one play. Also just does a nice job of, of staying in front of uh, post players. It really was a, a great post up defender and he got a lot of steals and blocks without leaving his feet. Another one of those traits that has sort of followed him throughout his career. Here just watch the angles, being very smart, always being in front of the, the ball handler, conceding those long twos from bigs, but uh, taking away the paint. Just does a great job of, of helping out multiple assignments, multiple rotations, and then using those quick hands whenever the, the offensive player goes into their scoring move. Here he gets switched out onto a guard, and again, you see how he uses his active hands, another one of his traits, and then gets the block without ever leaving his feet. Rotations like this, this is the Jokic we know, tagging the roller, still being able to close out. Just a very heady player, even in 2015 as a teenager, just very, a lot of court awareness. Great rotations, great angle, forces the air ball. In hindsight, all of the skills that have made Nikola Jokic such a unique player and an MVP candidate were on full display way back in 2015 in Summer League. We just didn't know what we were looking for just yet. But now, five years later, the first team All-NBA and MVP candidate, we really see how those skill sets are consistent and how they combine to make such a dynamic offensive player and a smart and heady defensive player. It was really cool to look back and see all of the things Nikola Jokic has become and see the, the foundation of those things in his first exposure to the NBA.